almost Christmas. We went to our new fave. You're gonna actually see a video of this in January of us trying it for the first time. So you're gonna be like, wait, why are they acting like they haven't tried this? But this is our second time trying it. But the one that's going up in January has to do with the podcast we did. We talked about a podcast we did. So that's going up in January. But anyways, that's our first time actually trying it. This is our second time and we're back in the Hollywood area. So um, I was like, I really wanna get this again. I'm craving it. I'm like starving, like sick, like sick starving. That's how it was last time because I was like waiting to eat this. I think what did we have an egg muffin at 7 a.m. today and now it's like 4 p.m. So it's called the melt and Moses says it's like not ever crowded in there but it's, it has the best sandwich in the whole world and you guys know I don't even love sandwiches so just wait till you see this sandwich it's I'm mm, I'm so excited to eat and my dress already popped the zipper in the back so I don't have to worry about popping it it's already been popped mm. yum I'm like oh it has weird seasoning on it yeah I can smell it but I asked for not. Okay. Mm. That smells good. What is that? <laughs> what does it smell like? It has an odor. Oh my gosh. I hope I don't get it on me, but it's fine. This dress <laughs> is already ruined. It's already. It's already. A mess. Yeah, it smells so like strong and weird. Mm. Oh, I'm so That's excited for this sandwich. What is it? I know it's like such a strong mm. smell. Oh, there's two different ones. Um, it's like not bad, but what is it? Something that's like a bad it's it's a spice. We don't use it much, but it kind of smells a little like bad, but thyme or like it's not because it's not the oregano and it's not. That's not sweet potatoes. It's tasty. <laughs> it's weird. Mm. This is called the Mac Daddy Sandwich. I'm so excited. I guess I'm going to put it in there because it's, it's a little messy. But. <laughs> Mine is the Trisha Paytas. Well, I haven't seen that other video. What? I made that joke. <laughs> oh my God. We just make the same jokes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Trisha Paytas Sandwich. <laughs> mm, the sweet potato has a good idea last time because. We're doing another podcast day. We're doing Tana and Brooke's podcast day, but you know, I don't get as nervous. The other one I was like, because I know them, obviously. The other one I was like a brand new person. Mmm. Well, super fries are good. Oh, they're the best. The seasoned one are good too. Wow. Wow. Mine's like so. Mine looks so different. Mine too. I was like, wait, this looks like a lot. Last time it was a little more reserved. It is, oh my gosh. Ah, oh, the mac and cheese. Grilled cheese, yeah. Say cheese, yeah. Wait, oh my God. wait. What? Wait. <laughs> you just see it going everywhere? We just can't get the feathers. Get it out of the feathers. Why? The cheese, you mean? Yeah. I have a robe. <laughs> okay, look how messy. Oh my God, why am I eating this with my white? I know, I don't know, I don't care. Mm. It's mine. Mm. A little messy. Mm -hmm. But you were in black, so. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. I can't even get the burger out. It's so full of. Okay. A little it's different not... than the first time because the first time was really crispy. Look, it's still really good. Yeah, the bread doesn't look as crisp. Toasted. Uh huh. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. It actually tastes a lot more rich than last time. What? Oh, yours everywhere? It's so funny. It's full of the. Mm. It's full of what? What is that? The crispy onion or like. It's like onion rings. Mmm. That patty looks good. Mm hmm. Mmm. Wow. This is so good. I think over it. Like, what? Oh my god. So, is it as good as you remember? Mm hmm. The mac and cheese definitely. But, yeah, the bread could be crispier because it would hold it better. But, 
it was worth I thought about it even after last time. I was like, God, I wish I had that again. Like the next morning, I thought it was so good. Yeah, that doesn't happen a lot. Mm mm. What? <laughs> That Never. You like, that you like food and you want it again. Mm -mm. Never. Just Benihana, Mastro's, Rose Lasagna, Bolognese. That's it. Mm. This is the last podcast I'm doing of the whole year. My last podcast. Tana and Brooke's last podcast. We are going to like have a break for two weeks. It's crazy. Mm-hmm hard to believe mm -hmm. but we went strong in the second half of this year we really hustled so this is like the first year i feel like i deserve it a break because <laughs> i feel like before i just kind of you know did my cute little eating videos like this but we hustled a lot from one failed podcast to a pretty successful podcast figure it all out getting guests lining up guests having guests for next year already ready to go doing podcasts doing magazine covers I feel like really hustled. Oh, being pregnant, <laughs> growing a baby. <laughs> Even Patreon, like doing it more. Oh my God. Shout out patreon.com slash trash trash. It's so cool because it was like, I used Patreon for so many years and it was like literally my livelihood for so long. So like being back on it is so cool. And we have like, like we sent out headshots. So we've been doing that. We sign up producer cards. We do bonus. We do basically an extra hour of the podcast just for Patreon. We stop the podcast and then do another hour of more scandalous topics. Like they actually are pretty like juicy and scandalous. Mm -hmm. So we do pretty much filming days is like usually ten to like. And that's each week. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. So each week it's like another hour and a half of content because we all will come behind right. the scenes and stuff and podcast. So five dollars get you four weeks. I'm a bonus podcast. Yeah. We go hard. I'm fine. I love it. I mean, just Trish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 40 episodes. In what? Six months? Probably less. It's actually so crazy. That's wild. <laughs> Because we do two episodes. I don't know any other, like, podcast that does two episodes a week. I feel like most do, like, one a week. Mm -hmm. mm. This is so, this is as good as I remember. But those are so different, the shows, each one. I, um, look out for me. I feel like it's security. I get so scared of looking in my car. And I haven't felt that in so long, but... Not, it's just like, it's it's not anybody in particular. It's just like this area is just like, kind of scares me a little bit. It's just like run down. People like looking in your cars and stuff. It's just, I don't know. This is so good. Oops. There's people going back and forth. Mm. Mm. Probably heard the rumor. What? That you're here. <laughs> I'm just fully messing up my makeup. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. This is good. like more cheesy than last time. It was a little much, but <laughs> it's like falling out cheese. It's good, but man, that's a lot of cheese. Mm. Depends what the chef is. Mm -hmm. A little different, but it's still really good. The first time I had this, I was like, oh my god. A, grilled, a mac and cheese grilled cheese sandwich? Like, what? That's genius. We should try and make it. <laughs> you said that, but the flavor of the mac and cheese is hard to recreate. Mm. Wow, my mom was like... We were talking about Christmas and mm. she was asking if you're making a mac and cheese. <laughs> she really loved it. That's the best compliment. I will say I do get a lot of compliments from mac and cheese. Like universally people like it. That's a big compliment coming from her mom. She's an amazing cook. But people always want the leftovers of that mac and cheese. I get like weirdly full. 
at Thanksgiving too. I was like so full fast. I can't eat enough of it. I can't eat a lot in one sitting. But. Oh my god, mine's so messy. Oh, give me a. <laughs> I'll put it here. Sorry, just in time. <laughs> me too. Thanksgiving, I got full fast. It's so weird because we didn't eat. Like, it's not like we snacked before. I think that's why maybe, like, you don't eat for a while, then you eat. Too. I know. That's how I felt. Like, that night you made lasagna, but it was like 9 o'clock when the lasagna was done. I was like, gosh, I was so hungry. And now it's so late, and I can, like, not even eat this. It's so crazy, this area. Like, oh, God, I used to, like, I used to love this area, though. Like, I used to go on so many dates in this area. Like, Tinder dates. and Oh, my gosh. My <laughs> How did, like, even a black thing get on there? There are no black things in my grilled cheese. Um, I used to go on. But it's just so weird, because I used to go on so many Tinder dates, so I'd, like, know this area. I'm like, oh, I know there's someone who lived over there and there. Oh, it's so weird. It brings back memories of early 2000s. I mean, dates, is it dinners or bars or where do people even go? <laughs> what? You've been on dates. Don't even act like you did not date people. Not Babe, like where that. did you go on dates? Let's know mm -hmm. that. <laughs> um, I guess. No, I didn't. I didn't do a lot of dinner dates. I didn't do a lot of dinner dates. I guess just going to people's apartments. I guess that's why I like these streets are familiar. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know someone who lived in that one and that one. I never really did go on dates. Isn't that sad? Like, really? I really... No. <laughs> I don't think I ever did. I'm interested to take you out of a date. Yeah, you might be really, truly one of the only people to have done that. Like, first, as, like, a first date, first move, first anything. I think I just wanted to come over. I really think, I truly think that, even in any relationship or something like that, I'm like, no, that person never took me out first, like... You are the exception to this. Literally. And I even think, I'm, I'm really trying to think of like Tinder dates. Like, wow. Isn't that so sad? I think about that actually. I'm like, God, that was like really sad. I mean, there must have been. I guess maybe, no. <laughs> maybe like once I've like casually saw someone, maybe, maybe. Which was dinners you paid for. Well, definitely that. <laughs> definitely dinners I paid for. I think one person took me out to a bar one time. Maybe that wrestler guy took me, like, one time to a bar. Or I even met him at a bar. It wasn't even like he took me. He's like, I'm here if you want me. I'm like, okay. I don't know. No one took me anywhere. You picked me up. Mm -hmm. Did you pay for all your dates? Yeah, I always pay. Like, I don't... I think first date is, like, a rule of thumb you should pay. In general. We don't... Yeah, you've always been like that. Even when we dated in quarantine, if we, like, went out, you always paid. Yeah, because I just think it's more... I don't know. It's like it's like my preference. You know, there's nothing wrong if you don't. There's nothing wrong if you split or. I think first date guys should always pay for but sure. I think so too. I think just now today, like. It shows you're interested. I think people just don't want to have any more gender roles or. I hate that. I just yeah. don't. I get it. That's like the Disney princess thing. It's like, sometimes, you know, I've been single, independent, boss girl for so long. It's like, it's so nice to have, like, a guy take out the trash, which I think a guy should do. And most people on TikTok say that. I think I should do one of those unpop those popular TikTok things, like, where they do unconventional things, whatever. But I think we should do conventional things. I still do. I mean, do cook, so. <laughs> no, but I guess we're, usually. we're the most conventional couple. Yeah. Okay. My dad used to cook. But I feel like in general society, like it's like mom, women cook. My mom cooked most of the time, and she's an amazing cook. Then my dad would cook on special occasion, and he was the even better cook. You know what I mean? Like, he was like, if he cooked, it was something special. Really? Like, yeah. Well, you are the better cook, but you cook all the time. It's never a special occasion, just every day. <laughs> every day is a special occasion. Aw, that's how I feel. I was saying about Christmas. Like, when do you want your Christmas present? You want it with your family, or right? I'm like, literally every day I said this in the car. Like, every single day, you, like, make my life so easy and better and wonderful. You're always cooking. You're always, you let me rest in bed in the morning if I need to. And take me to play with Malibu. Like, he's just always, you always, every day is a gift. Like, I'm, like, know how lucky I am. The podcast, everything. If I want something, you build it. If you give me little gifts all the time throughout the year, you always pick up necklaces or ornaments or whatever. You just always think of me, so. 
That's all I can ask about for. The Christmas gift. I'm like, please don't give me a Christmas gift because I got him like three things and they're literally, <laughs> it's literally like a Scorpio mug. <laughs> I mean, literally that's one of the gifts. I'm just like, oh, this is so lame. It's something I'll use every day. <laughs> I just was so hard and I'm like I'm just so over giving Lane gifts he's like how about you show me a purse you wanted to buy and didn't buy it and show it in the savings account I was like okay but <laughs> being financially responsible is a gift well I feel like we've been, I've been like that the past that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like it because I'm like that's one thing that's the only thing that stresses most out is like finances so I'm just like okay let me show you I hate when you're like that when I'm like what's wrong what's bothering you He's like, I don't know. Anyways, that's a whole thing. But <laughs> I try to be. You help me so much. You have helped me. And it feels good to, like, save. It's fun to actually go into your account and be like, look at I can add more money to this already existing money and not feel stressed. Trust me, I used to spend, like, everything. <laughs> but I don't anymore. I was just telling him how much money has been sitting in there. I'm like, wow, look at all this money sitting in the account that I didn't use. <laughs> but... I think you still have the trauma from whenever they took everything out of your account or something. That's true. I'm just like want to spend it all. <laughs> like the trauma. That's like, true. If you're sitting there, somebody else might take it or something. I do. I, I have felt that way. Yeah. Well, I like the pressure of it. Just having like someone check you know like just this is like we need to have money in there you know and i was like that, that that's good if i didn't have you doing that i would just keep spending everything i have no i know you would do that but i think it's not it's not something i'm doing f for you it's for us right no like, same well that's like what i'm the, doing the future no that's why i'm doing it too us and the kids and also not to the economy always goes up and down so when it goes down, you don't have to stress mm -hmm. and, you know, so it's nice. Yeah. No, definitely. Well, definitely like that too. It's like with the Rolls Royce, like not to whatever, it's so unrelatable. But I was like, that's like 60000 a year in payments. I mean, you can put that 60000 towards literally like a Disney trip or something for the kids. So, anyways, I know. Sometimes just because people make a lot of money does not mean they're smart or they're rich. Just know that. And sometimes they don't make a lot of money. <laughs> it's up and down. But I got Moses here helping me. I mean, I bought my first house because of you. With you. It's the best house. Mm -hmm. And that's how I always envisioned it, actually. It's like, I always thought, like, if I bought a house, I'm like, what? And then, because everyone I dated, obviously, I don't know, wasn't financially responsible either. Like, oh, they're just going to move into my house. And then I'll feel like, wow, this is my house. So really, like, getting the house together was, like... Yeah, because I, I would never move in to somebody else's house, ever. Really? You would bougie? Mm -hmm. Well, it worked out. I don't know how. But that's why it was, like, a sign. All that stuff was, like, a sign, you know? We got the house. We had, like, really... I always say this story, but we had literally the exact same amount of money to put into it, which was, like, crazy. I was like, oh, my God, that's crazy. Like, what's the chances of that? Well, I had more... Like, I had... Uh... A big chunk <laughs> went to the ring. To... Oh, so that's my favorite. I didn't even wear it today. But that's my favorite. That's why I say you should have to buy me gifts either. Because that is literally the dream ring. I think about that all the time. I look at it and I am always like, this was my dream ring as like a kid. I got it for my dream man. Like, I always remember the day seeing that ring. I'm just being like, oh my god, that's the ring. Exactly. The size, the... Stones, the baguette stone, like everything. I was like, wow. Well, the size is what matters. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> it's like, get get your, they always say this, get your diamonds, like wholesale from a jeweler. Don't go to like, you know, what's the ones? Cartier. Because those diamonds are crazy. Because didn't you get my one necklace? It was like $10,000 and it was like small. Not small, but like it was just not huge. Um, it was because you had go to like a, a jewelry store. Yeah, but your ring was designed from scratch. You know, it was, you know, inspired by something, but once you have the shape of the diamond, you design it around that, you know. It's so beautiful. But everything, the structure, the way it holds it, and the, like all of that. I like it. I love it. Now, and to me, the bands. Nobody has those bands. 
Like the whole set with the, the oh, shape of the bands. I do love them. I just can't really wear them because like my fingers have been so swollen. Weird. But I love them so much. Because people have that shape ring, but then we'll have a straight yeah, band. Yeah, I know. And they don't fit together. I'm like, it's what? It's so weird. It's crazy too. We got that ring in the house the same year because like, I think I got my, this, this top is so weird. It's a plus size top, but like the cups are weird. Like, you oh, know. the lines <laughs> of the cups. <laughs> Anyways, that's a whole other thing. But, um. Like, what did they think? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> did you know we were getting the house before you got the ring? Or did you get the ring? Or how did that work? No, we got the house. We got the house first. Are you sure? Because it was something where it was like, oh, you did some big purchases. Like, I had gotten the Rolls Royce that year and you got the ring. And it was like a weird thing where we're like, oh, we should have gotten those if we were trying to get the house because we didn't know if we were going to get approved or something. I'm trying to remember because you thought maybe I'll propose to you in the house or... Yeah, I guess. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we got our offer approved, but we didn't move in until like January. So nothing was finalized until mid-January. And he proposed December 18th. So I think we thought, oh, we got the house. But then there was a ton of obstacles with the house and then we had to start providing, you know, bank statements and all that stuff like that. And then they showed like my car I had just leased for, it was like a $500,000 lease. Then they showed like Moses getting the ring and stuff. And we're like, oh, damn, these big purchases might have like hurt our chances of getting approved for the house loan. But it all worked out. Yeah, it was. That was it. Yeah, I guess we decided on the house before we knew we were getting engaged, but. <clears throat> yeah, no, for sure. Because I think in a way that was our engagement without in, being engaged. Uh-huh. Wow, it's like, a I always say it's the biggest commitment is buying a house and putting your whole life savings in with someone. But it was a bigger commitment because even if we didn't get engaged, we broke up. We're both going to stay in the house. We, weird, <laughs> we both had this weird mentality of like, <laughs> if we get this house, it's meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> and like this that was it. <laughs> kind of. Oh, yeah. Because it was a little... I guess it was a little rocky more on my end. I remember being like, I don't want to be with you, whatever, around Thanksgiving time. And we didn't spend Thanksgiving that year. I was like, we just need time apart. But we must have had the offer in the house or something. And then when the house got approved, I'm like, well, this is a sign. <laughs> there was lots of signs no, that year. We, we got back first, but then that got approved. But Maybe, maybe something like that. There were a lot of signs in 2020 that I was like, oh, maybe we're meant to be together. We kept coming back to each other. It's really crazy how that happens, and we've been together ever since, and never apart. It's literally so quiet. So quiet. I feel like I'm talking too loud in this car. Is it the echo, or why is it? I saw it so loud. No, maybe you're like suddenly hearing myself. Oh. Okay, the car is off. The windows are closed. There's no air. Like it's maybe that's it. Yeah, it's like actually quiet, quiet. Um, that was good. It wasn't as good. These are crazy. It was an 8 out of 10. Before, it was like 10 out of 10. This was like 8 out of 10, so it was good. It was satisfying. I guess maybe you can ask for an extra crispy. Or like, for oh, it to be well done. Yeah. They put more cheese and stuff on this one. It was kind of just a perfect balance of cheese and toast. Also, and that was like really cheesy and overbearing. But um, <laughs> I love our lockdown memory lane. But every Christmas has been special. The engagement ring was for the first Christmas. The wedding was the second Christmas. The third Christmas was, oh, Malibu's Christmas. And this Christmas is <laughs> Malibu and Elvis. So it's like I got a pregnancy for Christmas. So I just feel every Christmas has been amazing. And I was truly, no, I, I love gender reveal soon. Oh, yeah. Those are exciting to me. Photo shoots are exciting to me. Um, he got me a great bracelet, but it's just too tight on my wrist. It doesn't feel tight. It just looks tight. He got me this really cool one that matches this. Um, and it has all the, like, coexist signs. All the, like, spiritual signs. And I love it, but my wrist is just too fat right now. But once pregnancy is over, I'll get back to it. It's really pretty. Yeah. It's pretty, I'm sad I, mean, I can't it's wear nice it. nice even having it on the, yeah. the symbolism. It's good energy know, there. Yeah. Yeah, because I always wear the gifts. This is my birthday. This was last Christmas. Like, hey, especially bracelets are like so easy for me to wear. But I didn't bring my ring. But maybe for the better, because like I said, we're in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, this area. We're so used to our little like <laughs> suburb Disney town. So it's just like, oh man. Well, it's our last podcast. We did one last week. That was fun. Yeah, there's one premiering right now. <laughs> 
Oh, are you itching to watch it? Muslims no. watch the comments in the live. Well, it's monitoring more, but. Okay, I'll get back to it. You look like, you literally look like security with your, like, buzz cut and your. I don't know. We're <laughs> five minutes to be there. In route. <laughs> I love you. I can't believe we've all, I can't believe we're going to go on our fourth year because we met 2020. So we're oh, going 24. on our fourth year. In the house and two kids. <laughs> Crazy. Well, technically now we have three mortgages and two kids, so. Yeah. Which is a blessing. Yeah, each one of them will get one. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I'll have a fourth one next year. Who's going to be the artist that goes to the water museum? Okay, well, that, no. <laughs> You're going to the water museum. <laughs> what? By then, that would be, like, the best part of the movie. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, is that echoing? Hear that? Ooh. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's, that's so weird. I was like, okay, is that just my head or what? That's so funny. Um... Oh, we'll get a different museum closer. <laughs> then one of the artists can go there. Maybe Malibu will be the artist because she likes to draw and use markers and paint. It's hard to know. <laughs> All right. Well, gosh, I wish I... I almost got one of their... They had like a rice crispy. It was like gluten-free. And I'm just like, I don't know if I want gluten-free. Who had? The Melt had one. It was on the menu. Free rice. Yeah, but it was like... But if it's made out of rice... <laughs> what? Maybe that's why they say it. Like, or maybe they're all gluten free because there's no oh. wheat in them. Oh, I don't even know what gluten is. I have no idea. Wouldn't it? I mean, I don't know. Well, I didn't get one. That's the moral of that story. But I wish I had something sweet. But it's good I don't because I got to go sit the podcast. Last time we came, I had coffee and I was like, you know, I had to go back. And then I can just take off the rest of my lips that was on. I know. I wish there was like a fast food, like that had a good dessert or something. But anyway, I'm sure there is gas. in this area. I was, that's what I was trying to think. I was like, I wonder if it, but I don't know anything like offhand where I'm like, mm, Hollywood has it. You just like, normally we'll get like maybe the McDonald's little ice cream, but you can't have that now. I know. It's really sad. Mm, I don't know, but this, all I know is this is bothering me that I just noticed that the little cup things. Well. <laughs> it's like, it's like, that's so what? This is plus size. What the heck? No, but even nobody has like that. <laughs> I know. Shape I think it's just the design. Anyways, it looks I, it's a mess, and my whole back is out because like it is not even that the zipper did not like this thing is like driving me nuts now with so the echoing <laughs> the silver. It's like right in the middle. <laughs> what? It's fine. It's fine. It's so interesting. Okay. No, I'm <laughs> um, but the zipper zips up. It's just like it's just a stupid cheap zipper, and that's what's so annoying about it because it's a plus size okay. outfit. And I'm just like, dang. That's so frustrating, but yeah, it fits you. It just there's a every time there's a seam in a dress, the zipper can't go past that line for some reason. It's so weird. Or just like bust because it did, and then it just busted. So yeah, but because of that line, like because of the security line. <laughs> well, this is my security detail with me on these, and um, yeah, that's it. Also, let us know what kind of cars we should get because we're really trying to figure out a car situation. With, what is it called? Captain. Two. Captain Seats. Well, Captain, I think we're pretty clear. We look at the Escalator, the Lincoln, but it's kind of like a second car. Moses told me this. The second car doesn't have to be a big one for everybody. It could be like a, a nice, a nicer one. Not a Rolls Royce, but it could be like a Maybach or something. Yeah, when you go film by yourself, when we go on date nights, mm. when we go, you know. Get my nails done. Like today, going. Yeah. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm, now I gotta rethink everything. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Got my Chanel here. I have a brush. I can brush when I get there. Uh, love you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Check out the Patreon if you want to see my bolognese. <laughs> what are we going to make that? That's really just my excuse for you to make bolognese again. I'm like, I can film you. Soon, like sometime this week. Actually, is it time to go? <laughs> oh, he's back in. Actually, really, like anything you cook, you should just do a little, you know, just little clips of it. People like to see you cook, you know? I know it takes a little longer because when I ever did cooking videos, it takes like a little longer, but I think our patrons would appreciate that. The bolognese recipe next. All right, guys. Love you. So many people. There's so many cars coming. Everyone's just trying to get in the spot. And we'll see you in the next video. Check out the canceled podcast. Check out Just Trish with Tana as the final guest. Mm -hmm. We love you. And goodbye. Mm -hmm.